Hey everybody, this is Dean DeCost, and today we're talking about a Chrome extension, actually a pair, because they work together. One is called Speed Dial FVD. Uh, it's a new tab thing, and, and I think it's important because of what it brings to you. As you can see, I have 173 tabs. They're all over the place here. They're kind of organized. It doesn't matter if they are or not, because I can just search all my speed dials. So that's what it does for you. So think of it as your bookmarks almost in a way but these are the the bookmarks of bookmarks the ultimate bookmarks the ones you hit all the time here with the popular these are the ones i seem to be using the most which is good uh this you can uh plus this and you can add another name and decide what group you want it to be in this case i'm canceling because i really don't want to add any groups so you can group these uh and, and a whole bunch of other stuff as you can see here you got the most visited these are the ones i seem to be visiting the most um and then you have the recently closed. Now, this is big to me because if I accidentally close something and want to get back to it real quick, I can. And you can set limits here, which I'll show you in a minute. This is your sync capability. Now, we'll talk about that in a little bit. So we're going to go into our options. Our options start way over here where you get the option to import, export, speed, tell it what's enabled, um, tell it how to open a new dial. In my case, it's a new tab. So if I push something, it won't open right there it'll open in a new tab so i keep my speed dial there uh default modules uh manage domains you can actually block domains which is really cool and then speed dial preview settings see how you want to see these things uh and then your appearance here is a bunch of other stuff uh show url under dials show icons of tiles above dials all sorts of neat stuff um now there's a free version premium i'm using the free so no need to worry about it i do have a fancy style in it so there are some things like if you look at the show urls under it says available in standard theme only i'm not using a standard theme so i don't have it which is fine and then display default dials in the background dials reflection the size of the dials how many dials all sorts of neat stuff there uh, after that, you're going to get into the, the speed dial options, which is popular groups, default groups, all sorts of stuff. You can create groups, whatever you want to do there. And then you can most visited option. I have a 30. You can go up to 75. You can go to all time last month, this week. I go within the last 30 days. Now, what's important back here um, in the area about groups is you can actually, if you have a lot of them, I have 173, I could just as easily group them and, and just say, okay, sports and all my sports, uh, LinkedIn, all my LinkedIn. I don't because I kind of like it the way it is, but if I ever get to the to point where there's just too many of them, I will start doing that. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, recently closed, we already did. Then your, you, this is the background I'm using. You can create any background you want or use backgrounds available. Font, font sizes, colors, all sorts of neat stuff. Now this is your sync. Now sync they use is through something called Eversync, which is another tool, really cool. Uh, and as you can see, I'm syncing my bookmarks. I'm syncing my speed dials. Got a lot of bookmarks, speed dial, good to know. Um, you can break it apart into the speed dial itself, into the bookmarks itself, and then, of course, the backup. And as you can see here, I recently backed up just yesterday. Both of them were just backed up yesterday. They And it's pretty consistent. Uh, it backs up fairly consistently. Um, normally, it, you know, when you make a change, it backs it up automatically. It's just the way it is, which is really good. Um, so this is really good and, and makes life really easy for you. Again, you got premium and free. I'm using the free still. Uh, it makes life simple for you because you, you can take them wherever you go. I could actually sign on somebody else's computer and and uh, sign into uh, Google. All my stuff will show up, and then I can go ahead and get my all the stuff automatically put on there. So uh, easy peasy, good, easy to go. And if you're going to get a new computer, it comes in really handy because you don't have to worry about it anymore. So that's the thinking. This is power off, power on. It's a simple way to just take it off or put it on, whatever you want to do. This is widgets, you know, little sub programs you can put up there, um, leave a message, that kind of stuff. And then this is where you can email them and giving them um, ideas or questions or whatever you want to do. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's a good tool, a set of tools that work together that allow you the ability to keep your bookmarks and your 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 uh, dials all in one place, easy peasy go. This stuff is stuff I use the most. I mean, yes, I have my bookmarks here, but I hardly ever get there because the ones I use the most, the majority of them are sitting right here. And uh, it makes it really, really easy for me. Um, 
and you might think, wow, there's a lot of them, 173. How do you find what you want? Well, I mean, the search is right there. And then I do have them kind of grouped together. Um, you know, that's why you see Google here, Amazon here, another search uh, capability there, Million Short there, Wayback Machine, Google there. Uh, I got Google twice. That's kind of interesting. Don't need to do that. So uh, probably going to probably gonna to uh, delete that dial. Don't need two of them. Um, and that's how easy it is to delete and everything moves. Um, and then I have my news stuff here and Twitter and LinkedIn, all my social stuff. I mean, I have it pretty well organized, so I'm pretty happy about it. Don't have any reason to um, worry about it. This is your quick uh, menu, so to speak. It can disappear if it's in your way. You can reappear. You can automatically do a sync. Um, you can show and hide, power off button, get to your global options. Recently loaded, all this stuff is right here. Um, so there's no 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 issues there. And again, disappear, reappear, real simple. It's also up here in the ribbon. Both of them are up here in the ribbon. Um, don't really need to, I, I mean, I hardly ever get at them. So I actually kind of stick them there and I'm actually probably gonna move these things down a little bit so they don't get in the way of the things I do want to get my hands on right away. Uh, but real simple, easy, breezy, no big deal here. But it's a great tool. It's simple and, and keeps the things you use the most right in front of you. And that's what the key is. Uh, so this was Dean DaCosta. This, we were talking about speed. Speed dial FVD and Eversync that working together to do your thing. Have a good day.